How's it going guys and welcome back to another RC in Motion video and as you saw on the title that's right we are making a power distribution board now when making one of these this is just a remedy until you can actually get a power distribution board for your quad FPV uh, any type of custom frame you will be building so this is what I've used and worked for me on my um, quadcopter build. But this is the method that works for me and today I'm going to show you how to make a DIY power distribution board. Now here we have a washer. Now these washers I bought them at my local hardware store. They're zinc coated so in order to let the um, solder flow we have to sand them. So here I have a regular 220. Uh, grit sandpaper and what I like doing is I'll just I'll just kind of sand it on one side make sure it's the flattest side and once it's nice and sanded it'll allow the flux and the solder to stick onto the metal now for this project we have set our temp to about 7, 780 or 785 well, let's set it to 785 so that way we can heat up this washer and we'll be able to solder the leads now for those who are asking yourself or want to know what is a power distribution board well it's simple a power distribution board is pretty much a component that supplies electricity and it'll divide it into uh, its own circuits so in a way it'll send power to each of the circuits in this case it'll be power to each electronic speed controller or ESC so that's why I choose this method because if you want to fly your quadcopter today and don't have a power distribution board well you're pretty much out of the water so this method will help you get up there and get some flight time until you can purchase that power distribution board this is a DIY this is something that I wouldn't recommend but it's, it's worked for me so I'm pretty sure it'll work for you as well so let's go ahead and start heating up this um, this washer and I have to uh, pretty much just hold on the uh, this um, iron here Till it gets pretty hot so now that it's pretty hot I can go ahead and start putting on some of my flux solder okay so once it gets pretty hot and because you put a little bit of a uh, effort in sanding it down in the beginning well it actually grabs the solder a bit better let's check that out that's a clean nice little soldering job Oh, it went over to the side a little. I didn't let it cool down. So once it's really, really hot, that solder is going to stick to any surface. Um, once it's hot, well, not any surface, but any metal surface once it is hot. It's still hot right now, so we're just going to let it cool down. And as you can see, there's your start of your positive or negative uh, side. Now, if we wanted to do a negative area we'd put another washer and do the same process sand it and then this side could be negative this side can be positive so let's go ahead and let's solder uh, these wires so I can show you what what it'll look like once it's all done so let's heat up this here okay and that would be your positive side now the same way we, we would do for our negative side now 
once we solder in our negative side, we have all our leads. What I what I did on my quadcopter was I put all the positives on one side, all the negatives on one side, and then on these ends at the I split pretty much the uh, washer in half, and I did another uh, pre-tin on this side. And here I just soldered in the leads to my battery power pretty much. So I put the positive, one positive here, one negative here, and it went out towards the battery. But this is my DIY method for a power distribution board. I hope this helped you understand what a power distribution board is. And uh, if you can't afford one at the moment and want to fly your custom quadcopter or your kit, you would be able to do a power distribution board on the fly with only two washers, pretty much. It's the same concept, but you can do it at your own risk. I've flown my quadcopter so far about three flights, four flights, and it works perfect. I don't see why this method doesn't work, but again, a power distribution board has more circuitry for you to uh, plug in your, uh, your gear. But this is my DIY method. Hope this helped you understand what a power distribution board is, and uh, this method will help you get in the air soon. Catch you guys on the next Tech Tuesday. Thank you for subscribing and liking and sharing. Till the next one.